We're out here at the park. I have brought the 7300 and the 7300 Mark II. And I wanna do just kind of a receiver test. This isn't gonna be very scientific, just kind of an AB, um, just so you can hear the differences between the two radios. I've got them all set up exactly the same. We're gonna be running, uh, I've got two equal lengths of Messi and Poloni Hyperflex 5. That's going into a choke and then being fed with Messi and Poloni. That's the Potaflex 6. And then we're going into the Pactena and fed half wave, which is going all the way up there. And I thought this would be an interesting experiment to do because this is where I do most of my operating. I don't do most of my operating at home because my noise floor is so high. But my 7300 is the radio that I use out of all the radios I own the most. So I'm very, very, very comfortable using it. So I wanna just do some tests, listen to some stations, listen to no stations. How's the static? How's the self-generated noise? And I'll let you guys decide for yourself which one sounds better. So without any further ado, let's get to testing. One other thing real quick I wanna mention, all the audio is gonna be coming from this lavalier microphone. I could put two microphones on the radios, but I figured this would be better because in every single one of my videos, all of the audio from the radio is just being picked up from this lavalier microphone. This is a Rode Lavalier 2, and that's going into a DJI Mic 2 wireless lavalier, whatever the heck you wanna call it. Uh, so that way we can keep everything consistent, and that's just how I film my videos. So without any further ado, let's go listen to some radios. So the first thing I want to do is simply listen to the self-generated noise on the radios. The antenna switch is in a position that's not feeding the antenna into either one of these. Uh, both of the filters are set to 3 kilohertz wide and our roofing filters are set to soft. There is no noise reduction on either one. There's no preamps, no attenuation. It's basically just wide open receivers with no filters whatsoever. So I'm just gonna crank each radio individually, the volume. We'll start with the 7300 and then we'll go to the Mark II and listen to any differences in the self-generated noise. Now let's do a comparison listening to some stations. And in this test, again, all filters are off. Both of our receive filters are, at, are set to three kilohertz wide. No noise reduction, no notch filter, no noise blanker, no attenuator, nothing, just wide open receivers. And uh, I should note our RF gain is gonna be set to 12 o'clock for these tests. Beautiful Sour Lake, Texas. Great co control. And uh, Mickey, you take care. And uh, we'll go ahead and clear with Mickey. Member station, great control. q 5 Tango Papa Foxtrot. And we'll look for another check in. Wild System, coming to your call. Well, you're sounding good uh, coming in on your mobile. And no problem at all. Good. Uh, you're uh, about a five. Good audio, no problem. Well, thanks, Doug. Uh, you're working too. You take care. That's my buddy, Doug. Uh, Seems short uh, in some in some ways. I'm getting a lot of stations in Ohio, and now I got in. So it's uh, fine by me. And can you give me the name again. Okay, ready. I got you in the logbook for uh, 12 days of Christmas. And Kilo Delta 9 Zulu Golf Alpha. Correct. Merry Christmas, and thanks for the contact. QRZ, K2P slash 9. Okay, Whiskey 5 Bravo, uh, November Lima, uh, uh, I got you 5-9, over. Okay, and what's the name there? Okay, Brandon, uh, I got that in my log, and I got you in the log, and you should be all set for 11 Pipers piping uh, in the 12 days of Christmas. Hope you can work some of the other stations and uh, best of 73s. Okay, uh, the station ending in uh, Hotel. Okay, Whiskey Bravo 8. Uh, Victor uh, November uh, Victor November uh, Hotel. One, just one second, stand by. Okay, I got it as uh, Whiskey Bravo H, Victor November Hotel, and I got you five nine over. Okay, the call sign here for the special event of Twelve Days of Christmas is Kilo to Papa, to Papa Stroke Nine. Uh, I'm located just north of Milwaukee. The name is Paul. Over. 
Uh, 12 days of Christmas, so we'll just keep plugging away here. Nine in Arizona. Roger, Roger, John. Thank you for the call. I appreciate it. Uh, this is K8 Charlie. Have a great Christmas. Hello, A Charlie. A special event. Uh, Q, where is that? November 4, Whiskey Romeo Oscar. Merry Christmas with the train, Bill. Nice to see you again. Uh, thanks for the call from SC. All the best. K8 Charlie. Christmas K-9 train. Q, where is that? K69 Golf Quebec Alpha. Merry Christmas from the train there, Bob. Over. Our uh, QSL card. So nice to get you again here, uh, Bob. Have a great Christmas there in Indiana. All the best. Uh, K-8 Charlie on the Christmas train. Q, where is it? Uh, once a week to take on. Well, I guess back in the end of the summer, uh, first of the fall, they were out for a ride. There was a whole group of them. And he was leading the uh, pack. And uh, he came up to a corner. And, uh, it was a T corner. So he made a left and headed down there and started to... And then realized that there was gravel the road ahead, so he uh, said, no, I can't do there. They were on some different, uh, uh, different roads that they'd never been on, so he slowed down and stopped. And, and the 85-year-old guy behind him drove in the back of him. And, uh, and they ended up, I uh, found out uh, last night, is that the, uh, the insurance company wrote off both gold links. Now I want to compare the noise reduction between the two. So we'll start with the 7300. We've got it at level zero and we'll go all the way up to 15. We'll set our volume to about one o'clock and we're on a clear frequency. So we're just listening to the static and seeing how well it reduces the noise. Now let's take a listen to the pre-amplifiers. We've got a good strong uh, station here. So we'll start with the 7300. Preamp is off right now. November 9, Bravo, Bravo, Echo, N9, B, B, E, your 59 Arkansas QSL. Yeah, QSL, thanks for the five man Arkansas. You're 59 plus 20 up here just south of Chicago. Uh, what's the name there? Name here is Don Delta Oscar November. Okay, very good, Don. Uh, thanks for the contact. Thanks for what you're doing. Make sure you five in the Okay, Roger. Glad to help. And uh, uh, we, this is our third year doing this. It's a lot. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, you are for the Oscar. 12 days of Christmas. This is Whiskey Two November Sierra Four. Okay, K1 BJC, you're also 5-9 Arkansas. What was your state again? Minnesota, 5-9. Okay, thanks for the call. Uh, great signal there in the clear. And the station ending in Papa Delta Alpha, your call, PDA? Whiskey 4, Papa yeah. Delta Alpha. Roger, W4 PDA, your 5-9 Arkansas. QSL? This guy's a weaker Roger, station. Roger. I think he's doing a POTA. Down in my noise level, about a 5-3, five, 5-3 three, five, three here in the wind. Illinois, over. Uh, QSL, uh, so uh, you're, uh, you're away from home. I have you 5x5 uh, five five to uh, US 1038 in Alabama. QSL 73, and thank you for activating. Uh, thank you uh, for the call, 73. Uh, got a whiskey call? Whiskey 3, yeah. Alpha Victor Papa. I think it was a whiskey 7. Got a whiskey, uh, got two or three whiskeys in there, uh, QRZ? Whiskey three. Uh, got a whiskey three? Whiskey three, Alpha, Victor, Papa. Uh, Alexander. That's me, you got it. You're a nice 5-9 smooth signal into Pennsylvania today. Uh, QSO, you're also 5-9 to uh, US 1038 in Alabama. Thank you very much, sir. Number three, thanks for picking me up, Bobby. Uh, thank you, and 7-3. Now let's just take a listen to how I generally operate this radio. I have noise reduction on four on both of these. That's generally how I like to keep it. We've got uh, both of the RF gains set to 12 o'clock, 
and uh, out here in the park, our reference is at zero. Uh, no preamp, no notch, no noise blanker, no attenuator, just uh, pretty much wide open, but we've got a little bit of noise reduction on. Delta Echo Kilo. Uh, got a whiskey four. Whiskey four, Oscar Golf Whiskey, W4OGW. Uh, QSL, George. Yeah, Roger, Bobby, I got you, I got you at a five seven fifty seven men two eight. Uh, QSL, you're also five seven to uh, US ten thirty eight, Alpha Lima. Uh, copy US ten thirty eight, and I'll re spot you. Uh, thanks for the five seven, and uh, good all, brother. Uh, QSL, thank you, and uh, QRZ. Was that a kilo in India? November 9 kilo? Uh, QSL, uh, uh, have, uh, good lord, uh, 23rd QSO. Uh, QSL, uh, yeah, Dwight, uh, it looks like our, uh, 23rd QSO, and I'm just, uh, surprised. Uh, I didn't realize I had, uh, been out doing part of that much. Uh, QSO, you're also 5-9 to, uh, US 1038, Alabama. Uh, QSL, uh, stand by. Uh, to was that, was that a November 2 whiskey? Uh, November 2, uh, November whiskey 2 whiskey? Uh, QSL 5x9 to, uh, my park, US 1038, Alabama. Here's an AM station and, uh, on 40 uh, meters. A, um, uh, Echo, uh, uh, you know, display on my legs to find out where the uh, uh, blood is being blocked or uh, restricted. And then there's a procedure that uh, opens that up and then, uh, you know, get back to a uh, regular blood flow. But since I have a, uh, you know, somewhat complicated uh, uh, theater in which to work in, you know, with the, uh, uh, heart issues, the AFib, uh, the diabetes, um, you know, the uh, kidney issues, which are good at present, um, and then, uh, the circulation issues. You know, they're going to have to, uh, uh, you know, make sure that as a result of what they do with the uh, uh, veins and so forth has uh, little or no impact on the rest of the stuff that is also being addressed through medication and, and procedures, so... Well, I think that's a pretty good place to end this. What do you guys think? Is there a noticeable difference between the 7300 Mark II and the 7300? Leave your comments down below. Which one did you think sounded better? Keep in mind, we are really just in this test kind of listening for the overall audio quality. Not so much, uh, I wouldn't pay attention to the S meter in this because bands change up and down. And honestly, I don't have test equipment to ingest signals in here and see which receiver is more sensitive. Uh, I personally think there absolutely is a difference. I don't know how much that's going to come over uh, on this microphone, but 100%, they, they do sound a little bit different. I do have a preference, but I'm not going to tell you. I want to hear what you guys think. So leave your comments down below. In the meantime, thanks so much for watching Ham Radio Tube. My name is Mike, K8MRD. We'll see you next time, 73.